بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Good morning everyone and welcome to our class today of Traveler 4 Level 4 Writing on page 65 Yesterday we have read the, the book review about this book 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea and this was written the written here, the writing here, or the art, it is a review about the book. It is a short review about the book. As we have mentioned also before, these five are also book reviews, but these are short ones. So these are also book review. On page 65, now let's get to the writing. Read the table below with the phrases or expressions you can use in a book review and then complete the book review on Joe's investigation with words from the box. So, here we have three categories. Introduction. Introduction, what you should write at the beginning of the writing the first paragraph should include the introduction or the beginning or the plot or the main uh, uh, let's say the the main events in the introduction you can use one of these statements or phrases or expressions this book is a bestseller a bestseller which means that is one of the best selling when uh, uh, a very huge amount of people have have bought this this book or a timeless novel timeless which means that it doesn't change it, it doesn't change through time 20 years or 30 years it may last forever this book is written by the writer or the author who who is he you need to to write it the book is set or takes a place the event that is happening in that book when was it when was it you you can you can uh, write the date let's say 1784 or let's say 20 years ago or 30 years ago it came out in the date of publishing when was it published it was published in published in let's say 2010 or 2012 the book tells the story of and now you can write the the plot a short note about what's happening in the, uh, in, the in the story the main characters the main character the main character is the hero or the the main the main people in the in this in this book you can also comment this book is badly badly not written well or at the opposite were written if is the writer is a very good writer the opening chapters are so appealing that you want to keep on reading the opening chapters the first or the second or the third chapter are appealing or exciting that you want to keep reading you want to keep reading until the end of the book the book contains detailed vivid description of the characters alive character uh, descriptions uh, information about the the characters or the book is very descriptive and informative a lot of information and description in that book the book is well known for what is it popular for why is this book is this book popular is it because it is a bestseller or recommended by someone at the last paragraph at the last paragraph you write the conclusion it is the, the final you will find it hard to put down for instance <coughs> this I, I review this book and this book is hard to put down you you will uh, it will attract you 
you want to re read read it more read more and more until the end you cannot it's hard to put down this book it's not worth reading it's not worth reading you do not want to waste time reading this book so this book i i not i do not recommend you to buy it or to read it at, at least if you haven't read it make sure you get a copy here i am recommending to buy a copy of this book last one there is no question why so there is no doubt there is no doubt that you will enjoy reading this book let's get here and see uh, Joe's investigations this is a book and we we have a written interview about this this book but we need to fill the spaces with these phrases or expressions from the box here first one adventures descriptions characters best selling hard to put down published novel detective story detective story is investigating about this story it, it, it the writer keeps looking for the for the problem and solving trying to solve the problem informative appeals to all ages so no matter what age you are you can read this book written by the author a hero the main character and will written it r the writing was very good so is Joe's investigations is the book what do you think which one of these it is best selling it is the best selling book the author is Steve Adams Th this is the author but is it's what the answer it's written by written written by the author Steve Adams the book was first in 2008 which one do you think is it characters, hero, or published? So the answer is, it's published. Published in 2008. And it is still remains hugely popular. From 2008 until now, it is still popular. Everyone knows this book. With readers around the world. It tells of the of Joe of Joe McAllister a top notch detective living in Ohio so it tells the adventures of Joe McAllister a top notch detective a high class detective living in Ohio Joe is the of the what do you think Joe Joe, he is the hero. He is the hero or the main character in the story or the this book. He is the hero of the novel. So this is a novel. This is a novel. Which means a long story. Who goes about solving all kinds of problems, solving, trying to end the problems of this story of uh, the, the investigations in that novel with the help of his eager secretary the excited secretary and loyal friend Billy Ray he helps bring justice to those that do wrong to others he 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 tries to bring justice or fair to everyone who did wrong or did a very bad thing to others so Joe's investigations is not a, co uh, a conventional what what do you think it's not a conventional detective story 
it is it is a light-hearted glimpse a light-hearted glimpse glimpse is uh, let's say a short look this is a glimpse I am glimpsing into life in Ohio this book is what do you think is what were written and also informative as as well it keeps telling a, a lot of information it is full of viv of vivid descriptions descriptions of both the characters in the book and the people in Ohio this book that we have we still have two two words left this book is appeals this book this is a book that appeals to all ages so everyone can read it and it's so enjoyable that you will find it hard to put down you will find it hard to put down so this is the answer here we have an example of how a good review can be written about a book and here is how which, which statements or phrases you can use to write now if you have the review and you want to write the review you should have as we said introduction main part main part and it's supposed to be two paragraphs two or three paragraphs and the last one is conclusion or the end so the in, in the introduction you give some information general information about the book like uh, for example the title the headline the author who is the writer what type of book is it what type of book is it adventure is it detective is it uh, let's say uh, science fiction what what kind of book is it what is it about until just a short just till a short let's say a short uh, write just a short plot from the plot of the of, uh, of the uh, of the book and here we have the main part which should include first you give a brief summary of the plot you give a brief summary a short summary about the plot the plot is the main actions that happens in this book but remember don't write all the details or don't write the main things or, or, or what happens at the end because you will spoil it for others so if I read the main uh, what hap what will happen in this book so I don't have to read it you you have told me everything comment on significant aspects of the book why is it very good for example if you recommend this book to others is it the style of writing or is it symbolism or any other things at the end or the conclusion you state your opinion you write your opinion about this this book is it a very good one did you enjoy reading it or do you recommend others to read it and here we have the the recommendations the recommendations so do you recommend it for others or do you say no this is a uh, a bad written book and you don't have to read it so avoid reading it and now let's get to a few tips to uh, for writing the, the review mention the main events uh, as we have mentioned the main events only do not give away the ending of the story don't tell everything about the story include comments on other aspects just comment justify your opinion we uh, try to be very clear about your opinion and pay attention to ten to tenses tenses like for instance when have we when we read this 
This is in the past symbol. So it tells this book, uh, tells a story about something. It keeps telling the story. It, so you not talk in the past, nor the future. So you just use the present simple to write the review about this book. Let's get to the workbook and have a short exercise. So here on page, where is it? Yes. Match the two columns, then use the words to complete sentences from one to six. Here we have a few words that we had before. Timeless, review, blurb, best-selling, plot, and tale. And the, 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 the statements that we need or the sentences that we can choose from, bought by a lot of people, a story, the story of a book, a short description of a book, what crit critics write about a book, and last one, unaffected by changes in society. So, bought by a lot of people. If many people have bought this book and everyone buys it, so this book becomes what? Becomes a best-selling, a best-selling book. A story, a story. Which word do you think? It is, exactly, it is a tale. The story of a book, the story of a book, which one do you think it, it matches to? It is the plot. A short description of a book that we have just mentioned in the, in the student book. A short description is what? Is, sorry, is the blurb. What critics write about the book that you have just wrote, it is, we call it a review. And the last one, the word timeless. Timeless, it remains for a lot of ages, uh, a lot of years, let's say. You can read it now, you can read it uh, 20 years later, you can, uh, maybe uh, someone have read it 10, uh, ten days before. Ten day, uh, sorry, 10 years ago, so uh, this is a timeless. And now after we have chosen the, uh, after we have match, matched all the answers, and now we solve this one. Have you read of Tim's latest book? Have you read the Tim's latest book? What do you think? Which of these words can we use? It is? A review. This is the a review of, uh, of of Tim's latest book. This is one of Dan's. This is one of Dan's. So Dan is a writer who best-selling books. So Dan wrote book a book and this uh, or many books and this is one of these books which is a best-selling. Three. Did you read? Did you read the? On the cover, on the book cover, on the book cover, which we say a blurb or a title. I cannot follow the plot of the book. It is too complicated. It's very difficult. Five, the book tells the, of a young man who became a sailor. So this is also a tale. So this is the story. He was a young man only a young man, and now he, he became a sailor. This is one of Joel Verne's timeless books. Thank you so much for joining us today for this lesson. And this is the last lesson of the, of the book. In the next few days, we will have a revision 
of all the chapters. Thank you so much. And try to write the, uh, a review about any book you choose. Thank you so much. And remember that practice makes perfect. Thank you.